this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default. Since last time, I rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description there, though I forgot to heal up Tiz there because I quit the Star Corslet on him to give him a bit more HP. I'm going to have Tiz be more defensive in the next dungeon that we're going to because it can be a little tough there. So I got shield on him in addition to the Kanai Knife for the extra evasion you can get out of that. But otherwise, everything is pretty straightforward here. I do have the Sage's Staff equipped instead of the Stronger Staff of Life because I want the Raise effect that I get out of it. And you'll see why when I get there. And let's see. With Adia, I have the Red Cap equipped on her for now because Sav Maker is a little slow. But uh, once I'm done with Sav Maker and make her into a monk, uh, again, I will replace it with a headband on her. But otherwise, yeah, that's all straightforward. Let's see how Narenda is doing since last time. So, let's see. I've gotten all the equipment shops up to level 8 there. The part shops, I got up to level 7 there. Same thing with the other item shops there. And I've got all the special moves unlocked, too. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, so now to redistribute our villagers here, let's see what we got. So let's see, with this one, wait, what did we get out of it? Yeah, we can get some more buffs out of it, so yeah, why not? Let's go for that. Let's see, for this one, yeah, we can get some more buffs and debuffs out of that, so let's go there. Okay, now the equipment shops, I'm still going to leave alone. I'm not extraordinarily concerned about those. Same thing with the item shop. Once you get a shop up to level 10, that's basically the max for the regular stuff you can get out of it but you can still get one more level for it to get something special out of it like in this case a costume that i don't really care about right now i will eventually get it later but not right now let's see with cape parts here yeah let's give a few of those there for yeah mp recovery mm, that might be useful we'll see Let's see, with the combat item shop, I don't especially care about that one, but I'll put a couple in there just to maybe get some free items out of it. Let's see, the compound shop is pretty important to still work on there, although I've gotten most of the compounds out of it that I care about, but I do eventually want to get dragon fangs unlocked from there. Those are really, really good. And let's see, with this one, I've gotten all the creature type exploitations there, uh, namely dragon type, which I just got, but I still want to gain some more levels for it because you can cure or get one to cure the doom status, which I don't think there's any other way of doing that. And you can get like resistance to doom and all that stuff, which you also can't get otherwise. But all right, so let's get four on that one. And for special moves, now I've got them all unlocked, but the ultimate equipment we get out of it is the falcon knife it is obscenely powerful i'm gonna start working on unlocking it now but i'm not gonna use it until chapter five and then all bets are off because it is pretty overpowered there but i do want to work on it so we got that going uh let me see let me check one thing about that i don't think dispel works on the doom status does it no, no, it doesn't. I don't think there's a way of dealing with it other than through special moons. If there is something else, let me know, viewers. But, yeah, other than that, you could kill kill them or let them get killed and revive them. Or maybe you could use, like, re-raise on it or, well, otherwise just finish the battle. That would work, too. But, all right, let's head on back to the Mithril Mine. Supposedly, there's a secret passage that leads to the Fire Temple there. So, let's see what we got. So, yeah, mostly with Tiz, I'm just going to have him focus on stealing at this point instead of, like, trying to contribute damage with the War Axe. It might be useful for later, and it is the most powerful axe we can get for quite some time. Huh? What's going on? Not again. Where do these guys hmm. keep coming from? Eagle? Uh, what are you doing here? Nuts. We specifically told you not to follow us. And that's exactly why. Apparently you're really good at getting into trouble. <sighs> are you listening to me, Ego? Hey! But I'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through. You just told us. What? 
You have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through. Okay, well, Eric can do that. You'd never be able to fit. Not in a million years. You said nothing about this back at the house. You tricked us. Evidently. I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing. Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. Oh, not. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that. You didn't ask. Nope, I didn't. Well, we'll have to take Eggo with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. We can't do that. What if he gets hurt? Well, I can equip white magic. No need to yell at Anya, Tiz. What are you so upset about? I... What do you propose then, Tiz? Will you make him go back by himself? Oh, yeah, that would be a problem, but he got it all the way here just fine. I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? They don't know about the passage. Ego was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage he found. Oh, not. But... Say but again. I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifices. Never! What are you saying, Eri? I don't want anyone to be sacrificed. I won't allow it! What then? You have been impossible lately, Tiz. What's your problem? You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late fire vessel, and me. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this! Do not interfere with my mission! Hey, both of you need to calm down. He reminds me of my little brother who died. Till. I mean, your parents were really good at naming things, huh? What? When that chasm opened up and Norende was swallowed by darkness, my little brother, about the same age as Ego, he fell along with it. Right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony watching her life fade in front of me. Well, I can't blame you on that. I couldn't bear to watch Anya's cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. Well, yeah, that's probably true. That's why I don't want to lead Egil into peril. Even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then, why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because she's remotely competent. Because I know that no matter what, Anyas would just go off on her own. Yeah, I've played this JRPG before. And I promised Anyas that I'd stay at her side. To be there. To protect her. Tis. So protect Ego then. Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Ego. Tiz will protect him. We all will. Besides, we're not counting on you for damage, Tiz. Right? <sighs> Please, let me go. I want to see the Fire Vestal's wishes carried out. You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Egil? Got it. Thanks. Uh. Aww. Uh. Hmm? Huh? What? Is there a problem? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's move on. Why is it whenever someone says it's nothing, it sounds like they're saying it's something? Oh, more party chat! Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, listen! <laughs> ha ha. Well, yeah, that is true. Ha 
Well, he's a kid. Ah. Ha ha. I like the look on Eagle's face. What you little? <laughs> We're not in this scene. Oh, or uh yeah. I like these little party chats that they give us. Apparently no new party chats from developing Narende more, but okay, let's keep on going or well let's be careful. Okay? Continue through the mithril mines. I will. I know this place like the back of my <gasps> Huh? Whoa. What? What'd you see? <laughs> A big piece of mithril ore! Oh, really? This isn't the time for that, Eagle. You've got to stay with me, okay? Oh, come on. Finding this can mean the difference between eating or not, you know. It's a precious find. Well, it is a mine. <sighs> Let it go, Eagle. The war will be over soon. Yeah, you won't need to worry about that anymore. Then you won't have to worry about finding Mithril anymore. <laughs> wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is what a cow come. Amazing! Oh, really? When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Oh, good for you! Oh. Ha ha. But, oh, more party chat! Man, we got a lot of stuff to get through today. So what's going on? Well, they got lights around this place, I would think. Why's that? Moon's just raining monsters down upon us in every JRPG where it's important. Well, it reflects in it or something. Well, it's an inanimate object. Oh, I, I suppose, I guess. All right. Well, let's just head on straight through to the end, just like we did last time. All the enemies here are the same as before. But fortunately, it's pretty much a straight shot to the end. And, yeah, let's go to the right. Er, do we have a cutscene there? Oh, whoops. Wasn't looking where the staircases was. Where? By the way, something about the ice brand that I wanted to mention since, well, there's going to be a lot of enemies weak to ice coming up. If you use Blizzara Magic Sword while equipped with it, you'll still deal a little more damage to enemies that are weak to it. What hole? He wasn't kidding. Only Eggle or Annie could fit down there. Well, then why didn't you stay in there? Here I go. Kind of reminds me of an episode of Deep Space Nine. What, you couldn't even bother animating the door opening? It opened. See? I told you so. Well, Whoa. then. I felt a blast of hot air. The Temple of Fire must be down here. Let us hurry. What about all the lava? Well, fortunately, I've made some preparations for that. Let's see. With Tiz there, I've got him equipped with Dungeon Master, so you don't have to worry about it. Although, technically, you don't need it. You can still tr avoid it if you wanted, but that requires good eyes, which I do not have. Weak eyes, good ears. But all right, let's see what we got going on here. At the Underflow. I like that name for a dungeon. Reminds me of a Underflow glitch in Final Fantasy II. It's the same as the one from my dreams. 
fire vestal told me the way to go. Oh, really? The temple of fire is that way. Well, there's only one way to go. Great! Way to go, Eagle! <laughs> I only know because the fire vestal told me. It's nothing special. Hey, let go of my eagle! I bet you're glad you brought me though, right? I should have said that earlier, but oh well. Yes, yes. Let's get going. But alright, let's take a look around. This dungeon's a bit long. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like there's supposed to be a path to the left, but, well, we can't quite reach it. But remember that for later, viewers. And also remember the auric outcome that Eggle found for later. But alright, let's take a look around. So yeah, we got this lava here. Actually, you know what? Let's remove that ability for a moment. Where it is. There you go. More party chat! Ow. Ha ha. Whoa! Yeah, you might want to watch out for that. Yeah, so you could just sit around and wait for them to do that, but I prefer to just go. So, yeah, using Dungeon Master, that'll allow me to do that. Oh. Well, not that fast. Not fast enough for my taste, and I have patience problems. Oh, right. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, let's get that uh, ability back on there. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little tricky to see where the lava is actually going to be uh, rising there. But yeah, look at that. We took, well, quite a bit of damage there. So let's see. Let's get back on white magic there. Although I do generally want time magic for this dungeon. But I'll just, you know, switch whenever I need one or the other. Let's see. Well, there's only one way to go. But yeah, that lava deals a lot of damage, which I suppose makes sense. Alright, we got a couple new enemies around here. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, both of these guys, they are weak to water. Let's see. The Flare Lantern can inflict silence on you, so you want to watch out for that. But otherwise... Uh, let's see, the red flan. I don't think there's anything special about that one. So, let's see what we can do. Let's go steal a couple times from them, and then examine them a couple times. And for now, I'll just have everyone else default, because I wasn't able to give enough equipment to Tiz to guarantee that he would act before the rest of my allies would. So... Okay, oh, okay, they can poison you. Okay, never mind then. Hmm. Now, with just two of them, I think we'll be fine. So, yeah, I would not bother... I mean, even though I have the extra BP, I would not bother using a Blizzara Sword on Ring of Bell in this case. Because there's only the two enemies. If there were more, I would have gone with Blizzara Magic Sword and then Double Vengeance. But I can already exploit the elemental weakness just with with uh, Stomp there, just not as well. But all right, we got the ability I cared about, Attack Item Amp. For some reason, I thought that was level five that that gets unlocked at. But well, we got it early. All right. So yeah, what that does is it increases the damage you deal from the items, like the damage items, by I think it's fifty percent. It's quite substantial, if I recall correctly. Let's see. Yeah, 50%. It is really, really good. You can deal upwards of like 5,000 damage with the right elemental set up there. It is obscenely good. But all right, we got that. Let's get you back on the headband since you don't need the agility boost anymore. 
and let's see, what did we get here? Wait a minute, how much? Yeah, you took quite a bit of damage there. Whoops. Well, fortunately, there aren't a whole lot of new enemies early in the dungeon here. So, I mean, this dungeon, well, it is pretty long. In the first couple areas, you've only got, like, three new enemies. But then, like, in the second half there, you'll have more new enemies as you're getting closer to our destination. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Yeah, the chests kind of blend in there, so you gotta look at your map sometimes to see. All right, easy enough there. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of branching paths as we're going through this place. You can't just walk anywhere, you can see. Let's see, the path to the left there, that leads to the end. I don't wanna go there just yet. Let's keep exploring around here first. Where's the treasure? Oh, there it is. I didn't think it was quite that far over there, but all right. Well, one nice thing about this dungeon, the enemies don't show up in extraordinarily large groups. And it is a bit of a longer dungeon. Oh, we got a blue chest there. Can't do anything with that. So yeah, having less enemies to deal with helps with dealing with the length of the dungeon. As we find the last new enemy in the first half of the dungeon about there, Minotaur Zombie. So, let's see, I would like to examine that guy. So, actually, let's do this. And then examine him and have everyone else default. Yeah, at least we got something out of that. Uh oh, that could be a problem. Okay, so since this guy is a zombie, or undead, type enemy, you can defeat this guy by using the Sage's Staff, or any revival effect there. So just select Foe List with that. Whoop. And I'm just going to use it over and over and over again on the guy. Because it's not guaranteed to work, so hopefully one of them will go through. And there you go, easy enough. So yeah, that's why I have that equipped instead of the uh, Staff of Life, which would be, well, it would provide more of a boost to our stats. But can we find a way to get through the Underflow to all the way to the Temple of Fire? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!